Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna be distilling this low wines, which is made by Jesse's recipe. So I made a mash, and we have a video about it, and um, I've cut down the volume. So I got about nine liters of 44% ABV. Uh, so just a little bit, it's just uh, for a test. Yeah, so for understanding, does it fit my your personal preferences um, after five or six months after aging and i'm gonna be using the pot still oh no not actually the pot still i'm, I'm gonna be using the pot still if uh, today's video and today today's taste is not going to be good enough for my personal preferences again so i'm gonna be using the stillman x three inch distiller uh, but i'm not going to take uh, extension pipes which uh, with the packing yeah I'm gonna take these stages of classic column you know classic column has five stages a product also produced by us in our workshop so by choosing uh, equipment you can check uh, for the copper plates or stainless steel and yeah and I'm gonna be using only two stages because we need to save the flavor, we need to save the taste and also I'm going to be using the vapor management uh, process because just much easier, we're not looking for the staple parameter of the column we just need to uh, have a bit of reflux and save an uh, amount of flavor and taste and that's pretty much it and yeah, if uh, the result is not going to be as great as I'm thinking about I'm gonna be just doing another time as a pot steel distillation uh, on a pot steel distiller yeah if there's not going to be enough flavor and taste but today's video about this stuff and Stillman X let's build the column So here we go, I build the column and as you see the condenser is <laughs> looking not straight forward, uh, straight down actually, yeah. Well, I bend it a little bit, uh, this joint is absolutely fine and uh, yeah, I could get rid of it. Uh, the condenser barely touched the uh, boiler but I could install the extension pipe instead of uh, two stages probably but I was too lazy to do that because I need to empty the extension from SPP and I don't want to do that. So I s thought that that's going to be fine for me as well. And yeah, the water connection is the same as in the previous video about this uh, distiller. So everything is fine. The only thing that I have to mention is that I'm only using two stages. So only two plates installed over here and over here. And other uh, three stages are empty, so there's no plate installed. And uh, we have only one thing to do. 
plug it in. Yep, maximum power as we have. Uh, it's not going to take a long time actually. <laughs> So column is already working, I decreased the power down to 3 kilowatt. It used to be 4 kilowatt when I was just heating up as fast as it possible, but you know the maximum power at this point is not a really good choice and also the stages are designed for the maximum power of 3 kilowatt, uh, not actually stages, uh, caps installed to the plates, that's why I'm staying with the power of 3 kilowatt, but it's fine to run with the power of of one and a half, two kilowatt or something different. Just you have to stay uh, up to three kilowatt and you'll be fine. At this point, I just have to open the ball valve for va in, in vapor management unit and collect four shots. Yeah, let's wait for four shots and then I will be using small jars and collect heads, hearts and tails. And after the some time, get to this point and smell and taste everything I got. Well, let's wait. So, I've collected four shorts. Yep. <laughs> you probably don't want to <laughs> feel this taste and flavor. So, I've already started collecting heads and just collect to the separate jars and that's going to be fine. And as you can see, I opened the uh, bowl valve mostly fully open and you can regulate to your personal preferences. For example, lower, a uh, smaller amount of alcohol per hour or a little bit bigger amount of, but I'm going to be staying a bit at this point, yeah, and actually I have to change the jar. Yep close to the neutral but there is some flavor and taste so I'll keep it and if it's going to be not so good I just put it to the faints
So the installation process is done, as you can see, the fill from first bottle to the ninth. Yeah, <laughs> everything is pretty simple. So from here, I probably will go for the heads, and from this and half of this jar, I'm gonna go for the pretty hard tails, and mostly this stuff is going to be my hearts. Actually, hearts is these yeah but over here i feel the most interesting taste and uh, i will come up uh, to this process and taste everything and smell everything when i'm going to be uh, not so tired because of the distillation process which take me about half of the day and also shooting a video is also <laughs> taking the time and making that in two languages is also taking the time and my power anyway uh, pretty easy as you can see only two plates are well working we have a lot of flavor and taste but in case if there's not going to be enough I'm gonna go for the pot seal distillation as uh, usually uh, when you need to have huge amount of flavor and taste and yeah three stages I personally take for their um, fruits distillates yeah brandy or something like that it's a kind of easy one to drink and it's clear not so harsh or funky like this stuff yeah uh, so, if you're gonna have any questions in this video episode or you have other questions about our equipment, feel free to comment or write us directly. We'd be glad to answer and help. Thank you for watching. Happy distilling!